Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well today. So today I'm excited to bring you a haul from this new company called Ioni Cosmetics. So I found out about this company because Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube, who I think is so wonderful, she did a video on dirt cheap products that were worth trying and uh, she had a blush from this company and she said she got it at Fred's and I happened to live like two seconds away from a Fred's. <laughs> so I popped on over there and I found that they did have pretty much the whole line that this company has so far and so these products are so cheap they're like one dollar to two fifty so the highest of these products was $2.50 uh, US dollars and the lowest was $1. And so the first thing I want to show you guys from the company, oh and also if you don't have any Fred's in your area, you can look up this company's website because I saw that they do have the products on there. I think you can order it. If you can't right now, you probably will be able to soon because I also noticed that they don't have all of the products on their website, uh, which is probably also reflecting on the fact that the company is its pretty new. I think it's just come out. So um, also also, all of these products are made in the United States, and uh, as far as I can tell, they don't have any really, really horrible ingredients more than you would find in other drugstore products. I kind of looked at the um, ingredient lists and everything, and I didn't see anything that stood out to me as like worse than what they normally put in drugstore products. So, so the first product that I want to show you guys are the lip glosses. And I think they had five or six different shades at my Fred's, but um, I picked up four of them. And so the first one, uh, all four of them, they look like this in the container. And so even though they're these are actually $1 a piece, um, they actually look pretty sleek. So I mean, they don't look like they have cheap packaging. It says lip gloss in kind of like trendy print right there. And then it says, Ioni Cosmetics on the other side and so um, the first one that I want to show you guys is called Cappuccino and holy cow this is like one of my new favorite lip glosses I can't believe that it's a dollar so um, it looks like it's a nude color actually in the container and when you look at it in the store it's gonna look really light but when you actually swatch it Look at that. It's got, it's, it's almost like a liquid lipstick. It's just got so much pigmentation. Um, it's just completely, it's gorgeous. And when you put it on the lips, I love how it looks on the lips. This is the kind of formula that I love. Um, so it's just, it's, to describe it, it is sticky, like if you don't like lip glosses that are sticky at all, you probably won't like it. But it's not super sticky, it's almost like more I don't know like waxy where it will stay for a long time and it this particular shade it just makes your lips look so smooth and beautiful and I can't believe this is I mean if I hadn't just done like the dirt cheap products video that I did with the really cheap products I this one would have made it into that video definitely this is amazing so then um the uh, I picked up several other ones and I hoped that they would be the same uh, the next one that I picked up it's this shade called razzle and this one is actually it's a really nice lip gloss it's just not pigmented like the other one so if you see this one is just like completely like opaque and then this one is more when it goes on my lips almost like clear but it does have a little bit of color like if I put like maybe three coats on it does like kind of a nice um, light pink color but it's not got a lot of pigmentation once you put it on then the next one I got is called fanciful and it looks like a bright fuchsia and this one also when I put it on the back of my hand it's the same kind of type of gloss as this one right here where it doesn't have as much pigmentation but as you can see it still is pretty bright it's not opaque like a liquid lipstick like cappuccino but it still is got a, it still has a lot of color and um, by the way cappuccino doesn't really have any kind of smell or flavor um, fanciful the bright one I just showed you it doesn't have any smell or flavor either and then um, razzle I think I've worn it a couple times and it has a really slight smell it, ha it doesn't have a flavor but it has a really slight like lip glossy kind of sweet sort of a smell it's not like super nice but it's not bad at all either and then um, the last one that I picked up is called cinema and it looks like a bright red and this is another one that goes on like a liquid lipstick it is just like holy cow it's it's also opaque and it is just bright red. I can't believe for a dollar that you can get a product this nice for a dollar. Um, the only bad thing about these that I've noticed so far is that sometimes, even though the container looks really nice, the little part right here by the top, um, it's like 
it's like this little top top piece like I don't know I can't point to it with my finger but there's a top part right there sometimes when I go to put this in it's like there's a lot of suction that pushes the lip gloss makes this little piece come up and it's kind of annoying like you just have to push it back in but if you're not careful I guess it could get all over your finger maybe um, I don't know how to describe that better but it's just like that little piece will like pop up and you have to pop it back down it happened with a couple of them a couple times but um, I think the one that they had they may have had one that was out of stock and then there was another one that I did pick up that looked almost just like fanciful this bright fuchsia one uh, and so I didn't get it because it looked like it was basically the same shade and I was confused as to why there were both of them I wonder if that one is more of like a liquid lipstick than this one I'm curious I've got to go back and pick it up but anyway I just can't believe I am over the moon about those for the price a dollar insane you should pick them up definitely if you guys have a Fred's uh, around where you live and then the next thing I want to show you guys are the blushes which again are amazing um they, I think, had four shades. One of them they were out of. Right. The blushes were $2.50, so less than like a Wet n Wild blush. They have, they come in a pretty nice little package. It uh, reminds me of like the MAC blushes, like when they come in a little thing. But um, anyway, it says Ioni right there, and then on the back it has the uh, color. And as you can see, Orgasmic is a dupe for guess what? NARS Orgasm. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, by dupe, I don't mean this is exactly like it, but it's trying to be a dupe of it. In fact, this one is sort of shimmery. Um, it is uh, a really lovely texture, and when it goes on, I actually swatched it next to NARS Orgasm, and it is really very pretty. It has the gold shimmer, you know, it's like a peachy pink with a, a gold shimmer, um, but the gold shimmer is less in this, and I like that actually better than NARS Orgasm. I am not one who is like a giant fan of NARS Orgasm. I have it and I like it. I think it's pretty, but it's not my favorite blush. I actually like this one better. So um, anyway, that's really gorgeous for $2.50. Another color is more of a mauve color called Miss Bliss. And this one is more matte, but it is not matte. Um, it's not powdery like the Wet n Wild ones. It's more like the MAC ones. Um, it's just a really nice... Uh, really nice like mauve type color and you can build it up to become a lot more pigmented than what it looks like right here and then the next one is really quite bright it is called ecstasy and it is like a really bright very warm peach pink color um, it's not orange or or red it's very uh, like very bright warm warm pink like extremely warm peachy pink and so it is also a matte. It feels like not quite as smooth in texture as this one, the mauve one, but it's also very nice to apply. Again, it's like the nice kind of consistency of like a MAC blush to me. And so uh, those blushes I am incredibly impressed with. 250, insane. So then the mascaras I picked up, uh, they actually have really decent little mascaras. Um, two of them were $2.50 and this one was $2. So um, again, extremely, extremely cheap. This one is called Flirty Lash Curling Mascara and it only comes in waterproof. And so it has a type of brush that I feel like I, it looks like it, it hangs onto lashes very well and I've tried this and it does. The Consistency is rather thick, which is usually the type of consistency I like um, for a, a mascara, but I find that, I don't know, like it works okay. It, I don't think it's really amazing to me yet. I'm going to keep using it for maybe another week or so because sometimes they, you know, the formula will sort of change over a week after it's sort of been exposed to the air. And like Voluminous uh, by uh, L'Oreal is one that does that to me. I feel like when I first start to use it, it's a little too thin or something and, and it just seems to equalize after like two two weeks, a week or two of using it and then it becomes like an amazing one. So it does get a little clumpy. You have to sort of like get it off right here, but I mean that's not unlike a lot of other mascaras. So for $2.50 I think it's definitely decent. Um, and I, especially if you're looking for, like if you already have a good amount of volume in your lashes, this is a pretty decent mascara and it is waterproof and I can attest to that because I tried to take it off. I had to use um, I had to use a like makeup remover to take it off. It wouldn't come off with water at all. So um, I think that's really decent for $2.50. And then another one that I didn't care for, it's called Fat Lash, spelled with a P-H, Volumizing Mascara Waterproof. And it's got a giant 
giant, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it is a really giant brush and it doesn't bother me a ton. It's actually the size, Urban Decay has one that's about this size. It's a really, really big brush as well. Um, just fat. It's like a really fat brush. And it says it's a volumizing mascara and it to me, I like volumizing mascaras to have a thicker formula. This is a pretty thin formula for a volumizing mascara, but if you're looking for a decent waterproof mascara that will not clump, because I tried it, like it would not clump clump on my lashes um, and is actually more like lengthening than volumizing, this is actually really decent uh, for $2.50. I mean, you know, it's hard to find mascaras for $2.50 that are okay. Um, I mean, the Jordana one is, uh, that I love, the volumizing one is $3, so that's pretty close. But um, then the last one it was a $2 mascara and it is called, it just says Ioni uh, and it says mascara and I think it was called like Jet Black. Oh, jet black is what it's called. It's supposed to be like the blackest black, and it is pretty black. And I put it on my lashes today, and I'll show you, although my lashes kind of really stink right now, so they're probably not a very good. I mean, no matter what I put on them, they don't look that awesome. Um, it, this actually did a pretty decent job for me. Mine are just like all messed up and like broken and, and going out like this way and that way. And that's just kind of like they're in bad shape right now. Like in a, probably a month or two. Every once in a while they get to be like this. And in like a month or two they'll, they'll end up being better. But, <laughs> um, uh, cause they, your lashes are constantly like falling out and replenishing themselves. So right now they just kind of look like they stink a little bit. But, um. This, I think, is pretty decent. It's not waterproof, so I don't know yet if it will smudge or not. Today was the first day that I used it, but um, I liked the brush. The brush just is a standard little mascara brush. It didn't put tons of clumpy stuff on it. I mean, there's a little bit around here that you'd have to kind of get off, I guess. But um, it didn't want to clump up on my lashes, and it just went on pretty nicely. It was fairly decent. And again, the formula is a little bit too thin for me on this one, but I'm going to keep using this one for like a week or two, and I think this one actually might end up being a really, really great one in about a week or two. I'll see. I'll see. But um, anyway, for $2, I don't feel like it's that much of a loss if I don't end up liking it that much. The next things that I picked up are two eyeshadows. And the eyeshadows I wasn't quite as impressed with in terms of quality. I picked up this one called Goldmine. And it's sort of an odd color gold. I, I actually, I think it would probably be a much better color for someone of color. Um, you know, golden skin tones, deeper skin tones, and more like orange skin tones might do better with this color. It's just a little bit, um, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's... it's it's a little bit powdery for an eyeshadow and it's uh I don't know this is without a primer of course but it's just kind of powdery and the color is sort of weird for my skin tone it just doesn't look good for me and it takes a lot for me to find an eyeshadow that I can't wear but that one I don't like um, and then this one is called Rodeo and it is a type of deep brown and it's also kind of powdery it's okay I mean it's a nice deep brown but it's just a little bit on the powdery side for me and um, I don't know it doesn't have the best pigmentation but it's okay I mean I think that the eyeshadows were $1.50 don't quote me on that but but it was, I, I'm pretty sure they were $1.50. And then the last things that I tried are some eyeliners. So they had one that was an automatic eyeliner. I tried dark brown. And um, this I wasn't very crazy about. It was a dollar. 50 I think and it's not very much eyeliner it actually just goes to right here and it does roll up but it's just kind of stiff I mean it's it's like a cheap eyeliner that's really hard and I just I will probably never use that and then another one was I believe a dollar a dollar or I actually I can't remember if it was a dollar or a dollar fifty but this is a glitter eyeliner pencil and um, the color is not written on here so I'm not sh oh starstruck there it is starstruck that's the color and this one is also kind of harder it's like a pewtery type color which is actually really quite pretty um, but it's a little hard it's not as nice obviously as like a high-end one that goes on in a more smooth way but I don't know if I've actually seen any glittery um, really pretty eyeliners like this for that price, like a dollar or a dollar fifty, which I can't remember what it was. There was also a green um, sparkly glitter eyeliner as well, and I'd like to try that one. Um, but it's a little, like I said, on the harder side, but as you like continue to rub it, it seems to become like a little warmer and it moves a little bit more smoothly. So I don't know, for a dollar, dollar fifty, I mean, I feel like it's worth that at least. I mean, it's not an amazing blow away, you know, blow you away product like the, um, 
like I felt like the lip glosses and the blushes were, but I mean, it's definitely decent. So, so anyway, that concludes my haul on this new company, Ioni or Ioni Cosmetics. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below, and I hope to talk to you guys again soon. Bye!